Are in the sky. That was not the case this morning. Plenty of thick fog throughout much of the valley. As you know, it's lingered too. Time lapse video from our Holiday Inn Skycam in Sacramento. Uh, one of our reporters just emailed an update on her story saying, Yeah, it's still foggy out there in mm -hmm. large portions of our viewing area, Dave. Yeah, and we have another dense fog advisory. And the farther south you go, the longer that dense fog advisory is going to go into tomorrow morning. Then we're going to pick up some winds, and that could help uh, knock some of the fog out of the forecast. But yeah, this just issued uh, right after about 4:30. It is going to go all the way into the morning hours. So just watch out. Visibility is going to get down to less than a quarter mile. So add a little extra distance between you and the car in front of you. Get your low beams on and uh, just add a little extra time for your morning drive. All right, let's go from there and see what we have. That is Walnut Grove. See, our camera is above the fog deck that is there. So if you go down, of course, you get the inversion layer, and that's why the clouds are trapped like that. And we'll talk more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. But you can really see all those clouds trapped in the valley. Let's go ahead and take a look at some numbers and see how we're doing temperature-wise. There we go, 42 currently in Sacramento. It was a chilly day. I mean, we're Stayed in the 40s all day long when we should be in the mid 50s. Got 43 last check for Marysville. Here's a look at your relative humidity. It's 89%. Winds are light and variable, and the barometric pressure is steady. Now, we're going to have a couple of clouds come by over the top of us associated with a weak frontal system that's going to generate maybe a little wet weather in the north part of the state. Might get a little wintry weather up here in some of the higher elevations in the northeastern and north part of the state, but it's really not going to do much of anything except help to develop some northerly winds for us tomorrow with some gusts of 25 miles per hour. That will do the trick to get that fog scooting out of here, but it's not going to happen until we get toward the afternoon. So we'll definitely have the fog around. Not a lot of moisture with it. We'll have high pressure come back on in, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures for the most part tomorrow should be back into the 50s. Then we'll be pushing upper 50s, maybe close to 60 degrees in a couple of spots. And then we'll focus out here because there's something brewing just in time for Christmas Day, and that could be the leading edge of um, a decent little hit of rain. We're going to have to focus in on exactly what we're going to get out of it, but there is stuff on the way. Tomorrow, fog everywhere. It gets started. By the afternoon, we should have enough, uh, uh, at least winds picking up, that we'll get to mostly sunny conditions and temperatures in the upper 50s around Sacramento. For the gold country, you'll have light winds to start, light winds through the day, and up there in that inversion layer, you're going to be actually uh, in the sunshine. Mid 50s, upper 50s for Auburn as well as Placerville. On toward the Plumas County communities of like Quincy and Chester, you're going to be only in the low to mid 40s, but you'll have mostly sunny skies. You might have a little something in the early part of the day kind of hanging on with that front going by. Then that front's going to pick up the winds at the lake. It will be out of the west in the morning hours, then out of the north gusting to about 30. Then over toward the west, we'll go with sunshine there, 60 for Monterey, 60 for San Jose, and it'll be a little chilly to get started in and around the delta. And then by the afternoon, after the fog. We'll try to get to the low 60s there. Sunshine of 59 for San Francisco. Seven day forecast shows you there you go. Wet weather coming in here just in time for Christmas Day and it looks like we're going to keep it unsettled all the way into the early part of next week. And now let's settle in on some other seven days. Yeah, wet weather for everybody as early as Friday. Wintry weather up in the Sierra starting on Friday making for possibly a white Christmas. We got more news coming up. Stick around.